Lance Robb here with a look behind the scenes. It's Badass Overtime, giving you a chance to listen in to Sven's conversation with his guests after the show. So, uh, let me ask you, uh, Breck, what's going on inside of you right now? Well, you know, it, it, it fucking hurts. It hurts thinking of that stuff, but like having, being able to put a pin on it and realizing kind of where I need to work in um, terms of like journaling out trauma and stuff like that, it's kind of relieving having that uh, fresh perspective on seeing where I got to go and all that, you know? Yeah. Because sometimes when you're doing it on your own, you kind of get stuck in one spot. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And just so you're aware, and this goes out to all my listeners, if you're feeling stuck in your own self-work, it's always because there is some fear. There's something that you're not wanting to face. It's not that you're stuck per se. It's that there's something there that is scarifying the living shit out of you. And if you can identify it, and usually we identify it by asking myself, well, what's scaring me the most? Or when we're in certain situations, if we find ourselves getting anxious, anytime you're feeling anxious or upset or angry or whatever, there, start journaling right there. But it's always because we're stuck because we fear something. Um, Molly, what's going on inside of you right now? I am excited. I'm excited to uncover what's underneath all of this mess to see if I'm able to, I don't know, grow. And um, I, I'm. it's kind of intimidating to me to write bad things about my mom, even though they're not writing, making up things. It's. I feel like I'm disrespecting her and I got to get over that too. Well, and, and, and ultimately it starts with the question, and I'm going to ask it of you right now. Fundamentally, mm-hmm. Molly, do, and just give me the honest answer. Do you matter to you? Do you matter to you? I'm starting to. Good. And the truth is every time you give yourself permission to speak the truth about mom in your journaling, in mm-hmm. writing letters to her that you do not send, in the exercises in the book, there's a hole in my love cup, all right? Every time you do that, it is a statement that you are making to the universe, I matter. Because in the past, you would have never written that stuff, looked at that stuff, yeah. even was, but every time you do do it now, it is a statement. The underlying message is, I matter. I want to ask KC to weigh in here, uh, and, and Rob too. KC, I'm going to ask you first, what are you thinking? What's going on, KC? <laughs> I, I've been crying almost this whole episode uh, because I think these two people just to me seem like some of the nicest, kindest, most wonderful, like giving people that you've ever had on the show. And and I just I found myself really surprised by I I'm not gonna be able to do your next show because I need to just take a break from this show. <laughs> um I I I wanna say to Molly, um that I had the same problem with my mom. I I had a little different situation with my mom. I had a really good mom, but my mom fucked up in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sven knows some of the stories, ways that, you know, might not be obvious to other people, but, you know, my mom told me while I was pregnant that I shouldn't have a baby because, you know, my sister's baby was only two years old and give her a chance to be a baby and get the attention of the family. which basically was have an abortion, <laughs> you know, oh my and, God. and it was with a child that I wanted to have or, you know, that I had to take care of my sisters all the time. Like, you know, mm-hmm. um, can you get your sister a job or can you do this with your sister or that with your sister? So I was the youngest of all of us and I was made to have the feeling that I needed to take care of everybody else. And so what's the and, message in, in what do you feel? So is- I, be- I, be- I became an extreme giver just like you and and I could never look at my own stuff with my mom. I could never write down anything in my journaling that was wrong about her or against her. I didn't even realize she had made these mistakes. And then once I I did, I went through a period of like three years where I hated my mom. And so and, what would be I, the piece of advice from this, the biggest piece that you would recommend to Molly? The, the piece of it, the piece of advice is that I came out on the other end still loving my mother and forgiving my mother and understanding my mother. So my advice to you is you don't have to don't be afraid of the feelings that you have about your mom. They don't have to last forever. Let them out, right. express them and 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 learn from them. See what you're feeling, but when we when we try to pack them down or suppress them like you're doing with your feelings about your mom where you're afraid to to write it down or, or even say it 
Um, you're not allowing your, yourself to truly explore them and get them out of you. And so I, I say do that. Um, and I just want to say one last thing to you. Um, I'm not your mother, but I do see you. And you are a wonderful woman. You are just a wonderful human being. I mean, a nurse and all the things that that I learned about you prior to this. You are such a wonderful woman. And and <laughs> and it doesn't have to be your mom that sees you. Other people see you. Wow, well said. I see you. Well said. And and I'm sorry. Go ahead, Molly. Oh, I was just saying thank you so much. It, it, it means a lot hearing it from other people. I just always my whole life wanted her to see me. Yeah. Right. I get that. And and any <laughs> thoughts like ab- and thoughts no, about Breck? Thoughts about Breck or thoughts uh on Breck's story, uh Casey? Yeah, I mean I mean my the main thing that I want to say to to Breck, well not really to Breck, but I'm just gonna pretend for a second that I'm talking to Breck's father and I wanna say to Breck's father fuck you, you worthless motherfucker, because this kid is a fucking diamond. He is an unbelievable, amazing young man, and he is going to grow up and continue doing what he's doing right now, which is to help other people. Um, And and, help himself. And And help himself. And help help himself so that he can be Be strong enough to do what his passions are and be happy. And, And he's just a wonderful, wonderful young man. And fuck you dad amen um, and you are not and you are not bad you are not bad at all you are not a bad person you didn't do anything you're wrong a, as a child that's right that's you're right. a wonderful young man uh rob any f- thoughts just two things uh, people that are monitoring the taping of this podcast on youtube while we're live streaming it uh one said to um uh, molly i relate so much to this with three hearts and another person said to Breck, God, I want to give this man a hug. <laughs> so Thank you, you so much. <laughs> and so I you, think we all, I think ahead. we all want to hug both of them. <laughs> That's right. And, and, and that message, Casey, it really it hit hard. I really appreciate that. Mm. Well, you deserve it. Mm. And isn't it fascinating how you two each having the courage to tell your story inspires and touches and moves other people that you don't even know. We don't even know how, where in the world those people are that are commenting on YouTube and all the people that are listening in but aren't commenting. You're touching lives with your story. You don't have to keep your stories inside anymore. There was nothing wrong with either of you. You are beautiful children and you are beautiful adults now. And everyone else sees it. And so it's time to begin to get out all the crud that stops you from seeing it. I love you both. It's been great having you on this show um, and so just, uh, one final thought, uh, what's your final, any final thoughts, Molly or Breck? Go ahead. You know, Sven, I've really associated you with, uh, motivation now, since I do all my journaling in the gym, since I listen to a lot of the podcasts in the gym, whenever I hear your voice, it's like motivation and feeling. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That, that's just my association with the podcast Thank and everything. You. It's like, I really want to heal every time I Good hear that you. shit. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Molly, any final thoughts? And it doesn't have to be nice words about Sven, but uh, any no, final thoughts no. or words or, or anything, Molly? Thank you, guys, everybody. This you whole bet. thing has been a wonderful experience, and I appreciate everybody's nice comments. You bet. You and bet. for even listening. You Thank bet. you. You bet. You've been in touch with us. Yep. And you guys have been good sports and you let me interrupt and push you hard and you did great. That's it. Join us for new counseling episodes every Thursday and lightning rounds every Sunday. Thanks for listening to Badass Overtime. Now go out and slay some demons and have a kick-ass day.